Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am Home Lee, and this is the Home Lee 665 channel. Uh, today, we have with us a mediator uh, out of the modulus line. It can go together with the barrel attachment and stock attachment to become the mediator XL. Uh, I have just picked this up from Amazon just recently. This is the third mediator that I have purchased. Uh, one I purchased for my wife for her to put together and use at end war. One I purchased for myself and I'll show that one to you here in just a minute. And then I've purchased this one uh, for myself as well but I have a, a little bit of a purpose for this. I really like the mediator. Uh, when I first got into nerfing uh, with the N-Strike series, uh, the uh, Elite or not the Elite Alpha Trooper, but the Alpha Trooper was one of my absolute favorite blasters. Uh, I bought it because there was a, uh, a young man that I nerfed with that had gotten a hold of a Raider. And uh, the Raider was a pretty cool blaster for me. Uh, but it, some things about the... Uh, the form factor of it, I, I thought were a little bit limiting. And then the Alpha Trooper showed up. And I grabbed the Alpha Trooper. And uh, I really liked it. And it was one of my favorite blasters, the 18 Dark Drum, uh, the whole nine yards with that. I really liked the Alpha Trooper. But uh, the Mediator here kind of goes along with the Alpha Trooper. Uh, the Raider, the Rampage, the Elite Alpha Trooper, and so on. Uh, it it kind of follows in those footsteps. Somebody said that this is basically going to be the modulus version of the Rampage. Uh, because, you know, it, it's they've made it a little more compact, and they've got, you know, barrel attachment point, stock attachment point, uh, and... and it has some some capabilities there so maybe this is the modulus version of the rampage who's to say uh, but I I, I kind of dig it it's it's a nice fairly compact blaster you can put a stock on it though and uh, and have some potential with it there you've got barrel attachments and things I, I like the barrel attachment and the stock attachment for uh, the, the mediator the uh, pump for the front and then the uh, dual strike holster uh, in the stock. I, I, I like the concept of those. Those are pretty cool. Uh, but the, the mediator itself is, is pretty good and has a fair amount of potential I feel uh, especially for a slam fire blaster. I know a lot of people contain about the side mag well but uh, in having such a compact blaster having the pump grip underneath I mean, the side mag well was going to have to stay uh, with this, which uh, that's not necessarily my favorite thing, but I don't have a problem with it. Uh, but of course, with it being slam fire, you're sort of limited into what you can do with spring upgrades and, and breaches and those kinds of things because slam fire doesn't take high stress very well just because of the way the mechanisms are made. But uh, I do have my personal mediator here that I had worked on a little bit. Uh, this has a worker, I think, five kilogram spring in it, uh, retaliator spring. And I have put on here a containment crew pump grip. And this makes it pretty slick. That shotgun prime, you, you don't have uh, the, the issues necessarily with the pistol grip. Uh, potentially there uh, getting in the way of things you know you're not worrying as much about bumping your hand because you're horizontal with it there I really like that and uh, 
about the time I bought that pump grip, which Containment Crew does a really good job. This is very finely printed. Uh, the print lines are virtually uh, non-existent there. I mean, you can see them when you look really close, but it's smooth. It, I mean, it almost feels like molded plastic holding it in your hand there. Uh, that's really cool. They came out with that. I thought, man, that is awesome. I got it. I put it on here, and, and I was really tickled with it. And about the time I ordered this from Containment Crew, a gentleman who makes uh, some pump grip kits for the long shot and the retaliator, uh, somebody that I've talked about on here before, Gavin Fuzzy, came out with a pump grip. He also came out with a top rail, there's the pump grip, and a muzzle piece for the mediator and I think they look pretty slick myself. So, uh, get these out and look at them here. Gavin Fuzzy does some really excellent work. Uh, the only problem I have is he's located in Asia and not the US and that I don't have anything against Asia. It's just when I order stuff from him, it takes a little bit of time for it to get to me. Uh, and uh, plus, if he was in the US, it'd be more likely I would get the opportunity uh, to nerf with him. But, you know, hey, he, he's a cool guy. He does great stuff for the hobby. Uh, I'll have a link to his Etsy store below. Uh, about that man that muzzle piece looks awesome I mean, it it takes up the uh, barrel attachment place but you know it uh, it gives you a little bit of a barrel there and uh, you can get it in several different colors I wanted to get it in orange because uh, you know I'm probably gonna paint this up blue and black uh, you know me and so I like to keep orange accents on things so I figured I would get these accessories in orange to, uh, to kind of keep them, kind of keep a little bit of orange on the blaster, kind of keep everything uh, safety conscious and, uh, and give it a little bit of a accent color, I suppose, make it pop a bit, you know, having that bright orange uh, against the darker blue and black uh, make it look pretty sweet. Oh man, that is awesome, awesome stuff. That's the uh, top rail, as you can see. Uh, not a whole lot of print errors or anything like that. Nice smooth print lines, finely detailed high resolution there. Uh, and he even included a front sight piece to go along with it. it down uh, in that spot uh, as you can see he designed it to go in against this uh, rear sight piece and it gives you a really nice front sight there and then you've got a an allen screw there where you can move that back and forth as needed uh, if you want to reset that in any way man that's an awesome looking rail uh, that is Picatinny, or Picatinny, or however you want to pronounce it. Uh, I know there's some debate about how that goes, uh, but there's entirely 
too many vowels in there for me to not say Picatinny. You got E's and A's and all sorts of weird letters there. may have to, uh, which I mean that's not loose by any means, but uh, I might have to see if I can find a screw because apparently that's not been included there. Oh, and he uses uh, Phillips head screws in the pump grip. And I do like how he's got the GFZ printed in there for his uh, signature and it's not an obvious thing looking at it from the outside but then it's it's there I mean to tell you the truth I'd be proud to have the GFZ on the outside uh, I get why he did it on the inside some people don't like advertising other people's stuff on their blasters man that feels good uh, I'm gonna go grab a screwdriver and I'm going to see may hunt for a another screw because I'm pretty sure that's supposed to have something there to lock that down. Be right back. Alright, I'm back with my trusty little screwdriver set here. And take this grip off really quickly. I've got a power screwdriver. I just prefer to uh, go by hand, uh, especially the first time with new stuff, just to make sure I don't mess anything up. In case there's cross threading and stuff like that. Because uh, with a uh, power driver, you can really cause some problems. Uh, if you're not careful. So I like to err on the side of caution. And that's when I put the pump grip on the other mediator, that's I kept the grip like this. Just kind of uh, tighten the screws down a little bit so they'd stay in place. Because uh, who knows, that might be of use on some project in the future. Although I'm not entirely big on doing integrations myself. I love some of the work that's being done out there by people. I'm just, I don't feel like I am patient enough uh, or artistic enough to do a proper job with an integration. I have some ideas that I would like to uh, try at some point, but I just don't, uh, at least currently, have the time or the facilities to do like I would like to. On this, uh, he's got the Phillips head screws in here, but he's got um, hex nuts on the back side and I just kind of recommend taking a, uh, a good flat screwdriver there, standard, whatever you want to call it, and uh, and put in there while you're uh, push against those hex nuts while you're tightening them up initially just to get them on the threads and then everything will catch and, and work out on its own. I think he has used a number one Phillips head instead of a number zero, which a lot of Nerf screws kind of prefer a zero or a one. I think that's a, a number one there. Uh, I'm debating about what kind of spring I want to put in this one. Uh, I may see if turf has a, uh, a decent one. Um, 
Mmm, man. That grip. I love how he's got the spot for a thumb there. And then you've also got it on that side if you're left-handed. And that's, you can also use that as a purchase for your index finger, uh, whichever hand that you're doing there. Uh, you can kind of curve that over. That gives you a good purchase. He's got a, uh, a decent back stop here. Uh, it's not as significant as the one from Containment Crew. This kind of puts me in mind of a uh, Alpha Trooper, Elite Alpha Trooper grip. How it's got that back ridge. It's not hardly as uh, large or as in the way as what the uh, Alpha Trooper one is. Uh, this is a good, comfortable grip. I like it. I like the pattern of it. I like the printing. Uh, Containment Crew does a good job. I'll have a link to that in the description, but uh, I'm, I'm doing this video for the Gavin Fuzzy kit. Uh, I, th I think this looks pretty good. Uh, my buddy Valor uh, did uh, a view of this kit first. Uh, but like I said, I'd already ordered the containment crew thing, so I kind of had to, to wait a little while to justify uh, giving this a try. Uh, I do kind of like how this pump grip, it's a little bit longer, comes out in front of the blaster there, because, you know, do like that. And with a slam fire, you can pull the trigger and the handle will move back typically. That's a, a quick way to know if you've got a slam fire blaster or not without having to prime it. Uh, but that black, the hand guard comes out in front of the blaster. So you've got a bit more purchase there. Uh, whereas the containment crew grip, it's shorter, it's a little more compact. It kind of depends on what your, uh, what your preference is there. But you can see this sticks out in front of uh, that piece on the blaster, whereas that's kind of covered with the Gavin Fuzzy one. And if you look, I mean, you've got about an inch of difference between those two grips. Gavin Fuzzy gives you a little more purchase. It's a little bit beefier handle. Containment Crew is is more compact, a little sleeker. Uh, it, it depends on what your preference is there as far as the grips go. Uh, but, I mean, this muzzle would fit, you know, basically whatever uh, with a uh, barrel attachment. But Gavin Fuzzy sells this as being for the Mediator, and I like that. I like the way it looks. It, it kind of matches the mediator pretty well. You've got the vent holes on both sides. And then uh, he's the one, the only one right now that's offering a top rail design for the mediator. So I, I really like this kit. Um, I mean, I, I'm calling it a kit. You had to buy the pieces separately. Uh, I'll, uh, let me look at how much I paid for the kit here. Uh, in total, with shipping and everything, it was uh, $54.36 for the grip, the muzzle, and the rail. Uh, like I said, that's shipping and all, uh, and that's coming from Asia. The uh, Mediator top rail site was $15.85. The pump grip was uh, 21.14 and the muzzle was 7.93 uh, which I think is I mean, that's pretty reasonable on everything the containment crew uh, pump grip Give me a minute here. I'm going to apologize for not being prepared. Uh, this was something that just sort of came to mind while I was doing this. The mediator pump grip from Containment Crew is $25. So, uh, initial price, it's uh, a more expensive pump grip. Uh, however, uh, it's about $4 more expensive. But with the Gavin Fuzzy, you're paying from shipping from Asia, which if you live in Asia, 
that's not going to be a problem. But uh, if you live in the United States, Europe, whatever, uh, that's going to be a bit more. But I think this is a slick looking kit uh, when you get all three pieces. I mean, it, Mediator is like 20 bucks right now. Uh, it's, it's relatively cheap. But, you know, and the kit is basically costing twice as much as the blaster does. But, man, does that make for a beautiful blaster. Uh, find a good stock, slap on there, uh, paint up your blaster, you know, get whatever colors you want on there. That's going to look awful sweet. Uh, you've got a nice front sight on there. Uh, which I know sights aren't really all that useful in Nerf, especially uh, a slam fire blaster. But, uh, it just gives it a certain aesthetic. I really like that. Gotta give my props to the Gavin Fuzzy kit. The containment crew guys are nice. They've done some excellent work there. But this is going to be my top choice. Uh, uh, my major recommendation if you're wanting to dress up a mediator, go check out Gavin Fuzzy's Etsy. Got some great stuff there does some wonderful work so this has been homely uh, thanks for stopping by and checking this out just recently hit 100 subs so I, I appreciate everybody doing that thanks for for you know talking about it getting the word out whatever again I'm not doing this for the fame I'm not doing it for the money I've got a job that's why I've not been doing <laughs> too many videos the last little bit sort of went a month there with a the dry spell but uh, you know I'm, I'm glad people are seeing some kind of redeeming quality out of what I'm doing and, and I appreciate y'all uh, watching the videos liking, subscribing, sharing supporting, whatever uh, you know I, I'm not begging for that kind of stuff you won't ever catch me asking anybody to hit the like button, ring the, the bell, whatever. You're going to do what you're going to do. If you like what I'm saying, you're going to let me know. And I appreciate everybody stopping by. And this has been Homely665 telling you guys at home to keep flinging foam.